This is the $100 challenge in Bangkok, Thailand. Previously, I've shown you how much food you can get with just a few bucks and also what I spend on an average day here. But to make things a little bit more interesting, I'm giving myself a budget of 3,600 baht or $100 if you will to find out just how much fun you can have with that money here in the capital of Thailand. Let's begin. First order of business, I need roof over my head. So I've been staying at this place called the Quarter Prom Pong, but they were fully booked, so I had to check you out today. However, this is a Shane Hotel, so what I'm doing is to change into one of their other hotels here in the city. I booked a Grab Taxi, so should be here any minute now. How much? 89. 89? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. So this is what 1,280 baht gets you at night here in Bangkok. That is equivalent to roughly 36 US dollars. And here we have the hotel pool and yeah, looks solid. I'm not gonna lie. Very nice view from here. Right, so I'm here with this man right here and we're going to M Courier, famous like shopping mall here in Bangkok. They have a great food court. So yeah, going there for some lunch. We just booked the boat, so should be here like any minute now. All right, so made it to the food court. So let's see what we can find. Can I do pad thai chicken, please? One. One, yeah. Hi, can I have a watermelon smoothie? One moment. Perfect, thank you. All right, so I got myself some chicken pad thai and a watermelon smoothie. And all of this came out to 185 baht. So let's eat. Uh, so yeah, a little. Right, so all done here at M Quartier. My friend went back to his place, but while I'm out and about, figured I would visit the Mahanakon area, like the uh, tallest building, you know, if you don't count with the ones at Icon Siam. And to get there, I'll be taking the BTS. So, made it to Bangkok's financial center, and plan is just to stroll around here for a while, just do some sightseeing and enjoy the city for what it is. Sometimes the best things in life can be enjoyed for free. All right, and here we have it, King Power Mahanakon. Such an impressive building, honestly. I'm not going off today, I'll save that for later, but I went here when I was here in Bangkok for my first time ever in 2019. And it's definitely worth checking out if you have the time for it, because the views from there is just unreal. Been strolling around here for a while now, and a cup of coffee would be nice. Let's see what we can find. Do you have any coffee? coffee. Do you have coffee? Yeah. Yes. How much? Uh, 25 baht. 25 baht. Yes, yes. Yep, sure. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> All right, so I got myself some coffee here from a street food vendor. Only 25 baht, so yeah, let's give it a sip. Yeah, good. A little bit sweet, but I like it. So to wrap up here in this area for now, I figure I'll go for a foot massage, because why not? Hi, do you have time for a foot massage? Yeah, would you like to do? Can I have one, one hour? Yes, okay. 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 Oh. okay. Thank you. Captain Cap. Captain Cap. Alright guys, so we're back here at Yod Ferris and uh, actually made a full on dedicated video to this place if you want to check it out. And yeah, there's so many people here tonight. You eat my this one. Uh, I'll Can so. I eat this one? Sure. Let's do this one, that's okay. <laughs> Okay guys, so we have some uh, katsudon right here, and uh, yeah, let's give it a try. Good stuff, not gonna lie. Good? Good. Good. 
Chocolate, green tea, red bean, black bean. You have chocolate? Alright guys, so trying out the last dessert for the night. I don't know what this is, but um, I'm gonna give it a go. That was very different. You know, it, it tastes like bubble gum. Yeah, it tastes like bubble gum. Um, but it was alright. Good morning. So, I didn't manage to spend all my money yesterday, so we just keep going today. So, if I count it right, I have 1,462 baht to spend today, and I'm pretty hungry, so let's go for some breakfast. All right, so breakfast acquired. All of this came out to 83 baht, and uh, I'm planning on bringing this back to my hotel and having it by the hotel pool. I'm just gonna relax there for a while. All right, guys, probably gonna spend a good amount of time here today. I'm pretty tired. I went for a workout this morning, so I'm just gonna enjoy some downtime. So see you guys in a few hours. Kapun Kap for watching. <laughs> Can you say that? Kapun Kap for watching. Okay, I say in Thai. Yeah, you say in Thai. Kapun Thi Lap Chom Ka. Like and subscribe. All right, guys, this is how we make a thumbnail for a video, by the way. I'm not clickbaiting you. You still get the content. And then, like, more in front, I think. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully I got something good out of that. Please. It's too much effort. Please leave a like, guys. For real. Is that these clothes that I want to wash? And this one for you, right? Yeah, for me, exactly. How, okay. how much will it cost? I'm not sure. Also, when you check for a kilo, how uh, many kilo? Roughly one kilo. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. All right, guys, so as you saw, I used to have some clothes for washing and the price was 180 baht for like each kg of clothes. And I don't think I extend like that limit. So yeah, that's 180 baht on washing. Now though, it's time for lunch, so let's go. All right, guys, so right now I'm here at CM Paragon, which is like a luxurious shopping mall, but they also have a great food and right now we're having some shrimp pet thai, so let's give it a go. This is probably one of the best pet thais I've ever had. And yeah, I'm eating with a fork, don't hate me. Mmm. So, I'm getting kind of desperate here on how I actually should spend my money, but I had this brilliant idea, right? Crane games. So we're here at the MBK mall and uh, I used to exchange 100 baht so I can give it a go. If I win now, I give this thing to my camera woman, okay? Let's go. Come up here, come, let's see. That's close. Let's go for this one. Boom. That's close. That's very close. God damn. I think last machine was rigged, so trying another one. Ooh, this one is super high up though. That's a solid grab though. Ooh. Look. No! No way! What? Just because I suck so hard at these games, gonna punch my anger out here. Well, that's how you lose your money fast, but it was fun. <laughs> you can call me a tourist, but I always like to get like a magnet from every country I travel to. This one, 100 baht, I think it's worth it. All right guys, so we made it to the Vertigo rooftop bar and uh, yeah, we're gonna finish the evening here. I think I have like 817 baht to spend and then we're done with the challenge. Gonna enjoy a drink or two perhaps and enjoy this beautiful view.
Right, so we actually never had any drinks, but we decided to visit the restaurant instead and we just ordered some chicken pop and some chicken satay. And all of this came out to 820 baht, so we're pretty much on budget here for like this video, right? I think we're like three baht over budget, but I think that's fair play, all right. So yeah, about to enjoy this meal. So to quickly recap, here's an overlook of what I spent my money on. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel for more travel content. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one.